So I just gave Kent the materials for the bead chain. This is the 100 bead chain. Um, it's a Montessori math material. And I gave him the mat and the arrows and the chain and told him and just put the arrows in the right place. And so he did it. Um, I'm showing him how to... I showed him to turn the arrows um, so they point right like at the 10th bead and the 20th bead. But the way he did it before I thought was pretty cool and he got them all in the right place and did it in just a few minutes a lot faster than I thought he would. So what do you think of it, buddy? I like it. Yeah? Does it help you see what a hundred looks like? Yeah. Yeah? Kind of. So where is bead number 75? Bead number 75. Well, what bead is this? Right what bead is this? That's the tenth one. Wait. Well, no, it's number what in the chain? Seven. Okay, so where would where would we go to get to seventy five? Seventy five. <coughs> Start count seventy, seventy one. Yep, you found it. Good job. Okay, can you find bead number ninety nine? Bead number ninety nine. Here. You're right. That was pretty fast. <clears throat> what about bead number forty three? Now you got it. And twenty seven. Twenty seven. No. This would be bead number twenty, right? And then, so what would this be? That would be 22. Oh, this is number 20. So, the, that's 21. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for 27. You got it. Very good. Okay, last one. How about bead number 13? <coughs> You're right. Great job, buddy. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Now what's this all about? Oh, that's just the jar to store the arrows in. Can I put them in there? Yep, you can put them back.